Okay, I'm coming from, I'm belong from Delhi only itself. And uh, initially, uh, my pain started uh, with sir uh, in the rectal area for in the year uh, 2016. Uh, and then uh, when I showed a doctor uh, in my hometown, means where my uh, parents belong, then they said that it's just a, a normal patient. So the treatment went there and it was okay. And then again, the next year it again uh, came back in 2017. So again, the treatment was same. Uh, it went away. People say to me that uh, homeopathic is good, and uh, they referred me that you should go for homeopathy. Maybe it's a sort of pipes and all. I was not aware of that, so I went to. But the all you were facing, like yeah. it was pain or bleeding. It was, it was play, painful. Bleeding was there. Pus formation was there. It was sort of seasonal. It used to come uh, during summer, especially. Then when I went for homeopathy. Any relation with the constipation? Uh, I didn't have so much of constipation, but yeah, loose motions were there. Uh, Whenever so you got loose motions, that time also that it time, aggravates. Uh, yeah, it aggravates. Because of the dysplasia. Yeah, and itching tendency was there. Uh, after that, uh, uh, doing the homeopathy, it was quite okay. So, so, but again, it relapsed. Okay. Then I took the call. How long the, exactly you took the homeopathy? For two years. For two years. But it didn't. Uh, then uh, I thought that it was okay. But on the third year, it came back. And it was uh, certain that it was during this lockdown period. And then uh, somehow I got uh, through the internet, uh, your uh, uh, addresses and all. Then I consulted you. Then when I was asked to go for the MRI, the MRI report came back, then I went for the surgery. Uh, during Before the surgery, I, it was quite fearful because uh, the histories were there. I mean, it's, it's a quite painful disease and all. And I didn't want to take chance, but... You as, had read more about... I think you were very yeah. about the disease. You disease. must have gone on the various forums about yes, it. Yes, exactly. And uh, this disease shouldn't be taken lightly. It means it's, it's quite a uh, challenging uh, disease which has to be cured very well, uh, very soon. And moreover, uh, as I was also told by you that no, there would be no such discomforts and all. So uh, when I was going no, through... Not no such. <laughs> no there such. will be manageable <laughs> Manageable. So I would consider after this uh, operations and all going through that uh, it was less than that also. It's bearable. Okay. So uh, when I went for the first surgery uh, during this uh, COVID situation, uh, was quite tough to manage uh, but yeah with all the support of your staff and yourself and it was quite easy for me I didn't feel that sort of uh, 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 means uh, negative things then slowly and steadily as I was recurring there were back-to-back uh, -back settings do you and understand the severity of your disease yeah, have you read about it of course it is quite severe and this disease shouldn't be taken likely at all as I told earlier also it's such a disease that it is not less than a cancer also you can say which may in at the end of if uh, uh, delayed or not taken care may turn to a very uh, dangerous disease Definitely. so cancer is cancer from one cell to two cell two cells to four four to sixteen so that type of thing yeah. okay but here it will in days only the pus will spread in centimeters. Exactly. If right now fistula is this, if yeah. that outside opening closes, next time fistula will be 10 centimeter, 20 centimeter, we don't know. Yeah. As much pressure as the pus becomes, it will bust and it will form new tracts. Yeah. So it grows faster than that. So this shouldn't be delayed. But only thing is it does not kill the patient, but it is it makes the patient very uncomfortable. It causes so much pain, so much pus discharge. Some patients are definitely comfortable because whenever they are discharging the pus, Till then they are comfortable. Till the patient is not constipated, they are also again comfortable because pain is less when the constipation and the pressure in the anal canal is not high. They tend to have a comfortable life. Moreover, like uh, at times uh, you have seen that I have asked a lot of questions regarding the diseases. It's it's uh, as clearly you have explained me. It was uh, quite a knowledgeable thing that of course we are not from the medical ground, but it was so easily you explained us that we could understand what is going on inside the body. And uh, that time I decided myself that uh, no, whatever the directions you have given, whatever the medicines you have given, I have openly 
tool and i followed that and which has come to a good result and my recoveries were also quite big so anybody who suffers from the uh, or who suffer is the first uh, patient i would request them to follow whatever religiously whatever the doctor recommends and says and is to get a good result as well as uh, and if they have any quits and they should be ashamed of this disease you know because this is a disease which can which is like a life and death situation takes place so uh, especially in india you shouldn't feel uh, ashamed of that it has happened in your private parts or something the disease has occurred the sooner you come to the doctor the better it is true because because it spreads very fast exactly. if, if it is not spreading fast na we can say okay it is just any change just a or occasional drop of blood it is okay but whenever that opening closes from where the pus is coming till the pus is coming you are lucky yeah because pus is opening forming at one place coming out at another place there is one track if that closes this will form another track patient thinks if he i have taken ayurvedic medicine i have taken homeopathy maybe allopathy yeah. also he has taken antibiotics also and they have tried to suppress it many times they come up with antibiotics many times the opening closes they feel so comfortable oh i have taken this medicine i feel comfortable but comfort is not important because that when when you become that opening closes the again the pus has to go somewhere it will find another route it acts like a rodent it keeps on damaging inside and you don't get to know you will just feel a heaviness sensation you will not even feel uh, uh, any much discomfort but uh, you will feel on and on on and off lump swelling which disappears by itself and every time this swelling forms this will increase we have seen the fistulas traveling from inner canal to testis penis to the back to the backbone to the thighs to the gluteal region to the ovaries to the vagina even to the kidney region flank region also and those fistulas can still be treated but this takes long time maybe a year maybe two years but patient has to have patience though the process will try to make it very comfortable for the patient but it is a long process anybody who starts the treatment they have a tendency okay i will start the treatment but after 2 3 months they become fed up oh now i get now i want to finish the treatment maybe you also had yeah. this tendency yeah, yeah, yeah. you felt like that any time <laughs> no not that way uh, yeah sometimes uh, you feel frustrated because you are going through uh, of course nobody wants to go come for surgeries and diseases but um, slowly as i felt uh, that way sometimes when i felt uh, lonely or something like that i consulted uh, the doctors and uh, everyone then i got a moral boost which is very much necessary for a patient so especially in chronic diseases i yeah. also understand to keep you motivated is very important yeah. but this happens by when patient starts losing faith it becomes difficult for us also to handle exactly. it because because i know you will cure every patient they will get treated eventually they will be all okay but by the time they get treatment by during the treatment every patient has a tendency to go think i cannot control his thought i cannot tell him because he will have all the sort of things in his yeah. mind but till the end of treatment you will get discharge you will get occasionally uh, discomfort you have to come multiple times and you feel oh, why i am coming what is happening treatment is going right or wrong then they they are treated they are okay i would say all the patient that you should have trust when you come somewhere you trust you you should the trust is a small word but it's a big thing when you trust anyone you should give your full pledged every thing Uh, secondly on this covid pandemic i would like to highlight something that uh, the safety standards and the many people would think that the disease is uh, quite uh, uh, difficult and on top of this we are having covid so i would say that this is in the highest standards that has been followed all this uh, social distancing and everything the covid tests i had a number of uh, settings and operations as well and on every that time every time i had also. a covid test so uh, so nobody has to feel scared that no if i go to the hospitals and will get infected to the covid and it's covid free hospitals and it has been taken well care of so yeah we are see. trying to make our hospitals as covid free as possible yeah luckily till now we have not Uh, uh, faced any covid exactly. at least in any of our hospital where exactly. we are operating exactly. 
and another good part is by chance some patient where there is a doubt we get the covid test also yes, done yes, yes. and if that report is showing any doubt uh, we refuse them and we don't refuse actually we postpone them exactly. for the time they become covid negative exactly. and uh, third thing even during the peak of the covid yeah. when the lockdown started we had so many emergency patients because yeah. everyone was refusing exactly. we did not wanted to touch the patients we exactly. tried to work and because there were yeah. emergencies there were so many patients they were suffering and they needed surgery actively we tried to help them and luckily all of them have recovered same as your case also yeah. your disease has also become worse too in the course of course of course and it was uh, as uh, Maybe you had worry also that maybe <laughs> doctor will take me for the surgery or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the reason. But uh, nowadays everything uh, digitally can be done. The consultations were done when it was not possible over the phones to, through via different uh, platforms. And even uh, as uh, the test were done, uh, the test centers were uh, COVID free and total social distancing and everything were taken care of. So uh, overall, I would say it is. I would recommend. Uh, all and everyone uh, to hear, especially to to, to come to Doctor Bhumbol, and yeah, it's a great experience and it's a lifetime thing. You know, means it's free from everything. Means it's uh, so it's great. For and I'm thankful have. for to you so much, and to your staff, especially Doctor Punita. Thanks a lot for your cooperation. Uh, Any other uh fears in your mind before yeah. going because you were so well read about uh, the yeah I, I, I what was, all were the doubts in your my mind? doubts were uh, first of all the pain and uh, what was the time period it is going to take to recover because uh, uh, it, it depends upon the pain also as i have understood it, because the five fingers of our hand are also not equal so it depends upon body to body we have to understand what is our disease first of all pain will be uh, different pain, for different, different patients i would patients, tell yeah. once those patients who have earlier treated taken treatment or have earlier done the surgeries they feel almost pain free yeah. those who have directly come without doing any other surgeries first time they get some discomfort yeah. though this is manageable but they will have discomfort of course but it, it was manageable yeah so well. it was very much manageable i would say that as this is in a, such a sensitive area means uh, certainly we get a cut in our hand or finger we get pain and it's in a uh, very sensitive area of course pain is to be One there is but sensitive area second is stool gas exactly. all the time rubbing on it of course of course so it was manageable and through the as i told that whatever doctors recommends and say you religiously follow then your every problems will be very likely be done means and uh, the recovery state also will be very fast as uh, it uh, the time went i was recovered very soon very very fast so that's it i know I mean, it's, i'm really happy at that doctor day i met many patients also in the hospital they you know, usually when uh, going for the ot and you know, all many patients uh, were there they were discussing how other things in with each and every patients i got the feedback that no they are very much satisfied that is i didn't get a single patient who said that they are not satisfied or any patient many patient have gone through other treatments other places that like in this uh, fistula especially there are open surgeries and this comforts and all they shared me that uh, that was quite very very painful compared to if you say you know, ask me to rate it in 10 uh, they would say that that pain is 10 and this pain is 1 so that is nothing compared to so that made my moral boost more and yeah it's it's good I mean you should not need ignore this disease and just come up that's it. if anybody wants any to call or and the information from yeah, you of course of course you are you comfortable yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah of course of course why not and um, before you saying that i have started saying my friends uh, and colleagues i uh, it's, it's it's a disease which should be aware you, you should make everyone aware of this and uh, it's nothing to be shamed you are it's a life saving disease it means if you make them aware it's a life saving thing you are doing so please uh, try to share and share your experience who has gone through and let not other suffer so so and come to the right place of course <laughs> can you share your phone number also if it's yeah, yeah, comfortable yeah i'm comfortable yes. in the, my phone number is you can connect me to uh, the number is 8527432380 8527432380 
my good name is Siddharth Roy. So you can call me anytime if you want any uh, sort of information regarding the disease or any uh, any treatment. These things, what, how I went through, how was the pain. Uh, you, uh, I can explain you everything. Means it was quite a good thing for me. So, so stay safe and uh, this. Be happy that if you have uh, found out this link, uh, you are uh, really getting cured now. You are you will be free from the disease. You'll be in the right place, I can assure that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm, I'm very happy about your recovery. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you to your team and all the best for you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.